so the plan today is see how far we can get or how close we can get to where we want to get because we've got a we've got a big buck that we've seen this is the year this is the third year that we've seen this buck and Paley really wants to get this buck and it's a buck that it was actually the very first buck that we put a stock on her first year of hunting and he's now three years older so um, I just happened to see him last week out in this spot but we've had a ton of weather a ton of snow snow drifts are bad and now we're having a tough time just getting close to where we can hike in and try to find or relocate that buck but we're gonna try today see how close we can get we may hike in it may take us six miles to hike in there and through the snow drifts but um, we're just gonna day hunt today and get a better idea on how close we can get to this buck because it's kind of our focus um, he's the one we're going for we might see others but this is the buck we're going for for her so we're gonna load up here um, get the cold weather gear on head up the road and however close we can get we're gonna start hiking from there and start plowing through snow drifts Those are numb though. Are they numb? Yeah. Wiggle those things around. You're okay. Well, we've got the big three that we're going for. He's out here somewhere. I saw him a few days ago before Paley got here. And we left this area alone so we wouldn't run him out. So we got a few miles to bomb out into these flats and get to where we last saw them. There's plenty of does in that spot, a few young bucks, and then the big three. We got history with this big three. Very first buck Paley ever stalked was this guy, and he slipped over the ridge on us, which worked out because we ended up getting a hurry, great buck after that, but we saw him again last year when we got bigger and older, and this year he's just an old it has got to at least be six years old now. So, big heavy three. So that's the goal. And uh, see if we can find him. Why are we on our knees? So I can glass off this thing. So, on your binos, on top of this, it can be really stable. That's the best way to glass, really. Just kind of lean back into you like this. And glass all that. Find your buck. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. Maybe it's that where he was two years ago. He was over on one of these knobs. But it's it was such a nice day. He could be anywhere. He could be on the top. Is that where you found him a couple days ago? Yeah, he was up a little bit, probably a mile and a half, but he could travel. There's some sage flats out here. He could be bedded in there right now. That's why we want to look at it. Okay, so you see that sagebrush line? You want to glass that. Look for antlers, look for ears. So you see that flat top up there, B? Not the first one, the second one. Oh, yeah. So three years ago, that's where he was. He was right there on that one or the one to the left. He was on that top one and we crawled up to that. It just disappeared over the hump. Oh, that yeah. last light. Okay. And then we went back and we camped over here. But... So that's right where I saw him this year. He was in that same spot on the side hill. So, because we know this buck is up here, we want to give it a wide 
It's not bad, but hopefully, hopefully that buck shows himself and we can run it, make a play on him tonight. That'd be great. But Bailey's not expecting a first day buck. She's made that very clear. She kind of expects this to be a last day buck, and it probably will be. plan for the day is uh, we're not day hunting today. We got the llamas loaded and we're bombing in in search of big three. 
old timer, whatever you want to call him. And um, we got more miles to cover today. We got a few miles just to get to where we parked yesterday to hike in the three miles. So we got about six miles today to, to get out there, but we'll get everything to stay. Um, water, wood, hot tent, so we don't have to hike back. And so far, no wind, so that's good. But we got a lot of walking to do. It's just these drifts are too nasty, and we ended up pulling a guy out last night a couple times. Had to pull him out of the snow drift. So we're gonna just uh, leave the truck here, hike up the road past the drifts, and hike into our area and look for Big Three. Got a pretty nice looking four. Should we go for him? Do we leave do we leave the big three to be legendary? The one that we never got? Or do we by going and trying to get this one? Or do we keep hunting for the big three? I have a feeling if we pass this one up the big three is just still not gonna be there. He's not gonna be and there. And then we're gonna let go of a of a big four point. Yeah, this one's this one's a good buck for you. He really is. I'd would hate it be to... one that you would ever take? What's that? This one? Yeah. You don't need to ask that question. I'm just asking. <laughs> That's a great buck. Is he like? Both? He's bigger than your buck last year and the one from before. Really? Yeah. He's really different. He's um he's just a cool. Nice four point long time. Kind of like all the other ones in the garage. <laughs> Jeez. No, he's he's special because you, if you get him, you got a lot of work to do to get all the way over there. Because he's How far is he from here? he's uh. I say we go for this one. It's fifteen hundred yards over there. Because if we pass this one up, then I bet you we're not going to see another big one for a while. Well, if this is a buck that excites you, we're going for it. What do you think? I mean, he excites me more the, than all the other ones have in okay. the past few days. Let's go try to get him. Okay. seen that four point again but we think he went down that's where the other bucks went and the does so we'll be looking for him tomorrow but we're gonna head back try to find a spot to camp um, grab the llamas look for a spot with maybe a little bit of wood that'd be nice if we need a fire tonight Well, this morning we're just glassing. We got a 
nice little knob right up here. We're gonna grab it and scan everything. We gotta get 360. You can see where we've been seeing all the bucks. So um, hopefully we pick up one of the two bucks that we saw yesterday. That would have been great bucks to take. We're still looking for the big three that Paley wants. He hasn't turned back up yet, but maybe today's the day. But I know everybody's pretty excited because I've told them we're putting miles on today. We've got two days to make this happen, so if we don't see anything up here that's worthwhile or, or something we can put a stock on, we are going to put miles on to the north of this. And it's going to be a double digit day because we got to make it happen today. So Paley's really excited about that. We're gonna hop up on here and uh, see what we can get eyeballs on this morning. Well, we've been seeing a lot of does, but we uh, I just picked up the big three that we've been looking for. He's a mile and a half out. He's on two does, so we're gonna race. We're gonna race back off this glass and knob and just bogey, try to get over there, get another vantage, try to see where he went. He's hot on those does. I just watched him chase off a of Forky, so we got to play, so that's exciting. Let's see if we can't get him this time. My buckle is too tight. <laughs> okay. So, all right, ready? Yeah. Go make it happen. I don't know where yours is. I grabbed Kimes. Do you want one? Ready? Yeah. It's quite a ways over.
Get on it. I got it. I got the uh, magnification up quite a bit. Find him. He's bedded down. I think I might have to take it bedded. Bedded down, okay? You see where his shoulder is? Yeah. You're kind of putting it right in the middle. Okay. Think about where that bullet's going to come out. Okay. Um, get on there. Try to find him. He's straight. If you bring the gun straight up, he's in the gun. Are you ready? Dad, are you ready? Yeah, whenever you're ready, B. I'm just gonna watch you. <laughs> hey, what? You just crushed him. <gasps> He's not even moving. Oh my God. Oh, babe, that was an awesome shot. <laughs> she just put a perfect shot on this bedded buck. The same buck we saw three years ago on her first hunt, and we didn't get him that very first stock. He's bigger. He's a stud. Stud. And she just, nerves of steel crushed him on his bed. <laughs> 300 yards on the button. Incredible. Wow. Those other bucks weren't meant to be, P. I told you. <laughs> this is what was supposed to happen. We're gonna relocate this big guy and you're gonna crush it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's oh. an amazing animal right there, P. I'd say we earned this buck. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
holy smokes. I can't wait to see this buck after three years ago. We have his shed from two years ago and he was a stud. Oh, he's got, oh, he's just beautiful buck, man. I cannot believe he's still alive. He's gotta be, at least, he's at least six years old. Cause when we saw him three years ago, he was, he wasn't a young buck, so. And he is long, see that other buck standing on the ridge. That's the one we were almost gonna shoot. <laughs> Cause he's pretty close to where our buck is. And you know what? I bet it's his offspring cause he's the same. He's the same formation. He's just younger, not as heavy, but he's, he's definitely got his genes, like that three point gene. He's standing right above him right now. <laughs> Look at that buck in that silhouette, just right in that doe. He just became king of the mountain because he's got his does now. Look at that. Look at that big fella. Wow, look at that thing. Oh look how gosh. cool he is. Eye guards, he's heavy. He's even got a little kick coming out right there. Oh my gosh. Perfect shot, P. How he was sitting, that's perfect. What a buck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Look at this. Look how it curls. It's got a big curve right there. Look how heavy he is at his bases. He wanted to sprout right there. Stud. What do you think? Look how gray face he is. Old Roman nose, gray face. Stud bug pee. Yeah. Stud. Cut off the 21st and cut off the November. Okay, do a little knock. Shall I let you do it? Okay. Yeah, because the way he was bedded, like this, he put it right there, and it just took out both lungs and wasted no meat. So we didn't lose either shoulder, which is perfect. Nice. Got it? Yep. I just want to stand up and just kind of pick it up. When I look back at this hunt for the big three with Paley, you know, I can't help but laugh a little bit because, um, for this storyline to just play out the way that it has, you know, from that very first hunt, I can remember it so perfectly, the, the big buck getting away. And, you know, as experienced hunters know, that's just a part of it. And it's almost rare that you ever get another glimpse of a buck like that, or the one that you really wanted. You know, we all have stories of bucks just disappearing and you never get another glimpse. Well. That didn't happen with Paley. You know, we had, um, we weren't able to secure that buck that first year. 
she was able to take an incredible buck, an old troll of a buck in the end that first time. And then that next year, you know, we laid eyes on it briefly and he just somehow found a way to slip through the cracks and he got away. And then to have it spotted again, three years in a row, and I was able to let her know that buck still exists. I laid eyes on it a week before she was able to get there and, um, you know, she was excited. She was really excited just at the idea of being able to come back and try to go after this, this big three for this third year in a row. And for it to play out like that, for you know a young kid, um, that ha has not happened to me all that many times. So I, uh, I'm really happy that, it, that we were able to find a way to get it done on this trip. Um, you know, we had, we had one heck of a time, you know. Um, unfortunately, Hillary wasn't able to join us on this this last adventure, but um, she was on Paley's first hunt. And that was pretty special, um, looking back at that at that hunt. And then her second hunt with her second mule deer, and, and then now this one, this most recent uh, mule deer where she was able to take this big three. Um, you know, I, I, I have I have a very supportive family, and and uh, they absolutely love uh, going out with me in these experiences. And and um, you know this was this was one of my favorite hunts. You know I'll always be fond of that very first trip with her, but to see how she performed, uh, the pressure was on. You know the anticipation of finally getting a crack at this big buck after so many years and uh, she's just she's come so far in three years and so it's pretty uh, pretty special to watch her do that and uh, see her her excitement at finally finally securing this uh, this big three oh, that you guys just saw in this film what you guys didn't see in this film was after we uh, we broke down Paley's deer and you know we had those special times there getting some really cool photos and getting the meat laid out and cooled and, and ready to, uh, to bring the llamas in to, to haul that meat out. You know, we, we actually spotted some other deer, some other bucks, and you know, Kayim and I both had tags in our pockets. We didn't really build a film around this. Uh, this was just kind of an extra, you know, this, this film was about her and, um, and her experience. And so, you know, fortunately, Kayim and I were able to go secure i was able to secure a pretty nice four point and and kayam was able to take his very first mule deer buck which was pretty cool so in the end we were able to load up the llamas with not just her buck but three mule deer take them out the six miles from that was the distance between our our base camp there and our truck and we had the llamas to do that for us uh it was a long trip out in the snow you know all in all heck of a hunt it could not have gone any better really when you dream something up like this for your your son or daughter you know how it planned out and you know we weren't able to kill it on the front end and it's always way more special when you're able to put in some days of work and and really work at it also i want to mention probably wondering how cold it was um so i was out in this country a week before my daughter get there, got there, like I said, I was able to glass up this buck. But we were parked at minus 25 to minus 30 degrees out there, and we had wind. It was really, really cold. And the storm that we had come through was really, I mean, it was intense. And as she got there, it warmed up a little bit, but still, you know, we're dealing with single digits and just a bone chilling wind that comes through um, that rips through those plains and um, you know I wish I would have documented a little bit better like the temperatures that we were dealing with but um, again I'm just so proud of my daughter for being able to fight through this and we had winds you know you see our face masked up and it was just one of those type hunts you know this wasn't an easy one and again I found that my daughter's tough not not maybe tougher than I thought I won't say that she's just tough you know i don't have to worry about those things anymore and um you know she was 13 14 and um and she's like a a perfect little hunting buddy that i don't have to worry about like she's not 
complaining and wanting to go back to the truck and wanting to call it early or any of that. She's, uh, she's proven herself um, in these three years of, of mule deer hunting. So couldn't be more proud of her. Um, she took that weather like a champ. And um, I think um, um, every year I take her out, every trip I take her out, I'm just blown away by um, what she's able to do. So um, in the end, great trip all around. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, I know I love, I love selfishly going back and watching these hunts of, you know, whether it's Paley or Tana. To have these things locked in here on the tube, YouTube, to be able to go back and watch them later in life and have her to be able to go back and watch them later in life and maybe her kids. It's pretty special. It's pretty cool. Um, and um, I'm having a lot of fun, you know, documenting these trips with them. So um, in the end, thanks for watching. We hope to keep continuing to bring more films of um, these big adventures with her and I. Okay, last but not least, um, I've got a little giveaway going uh, with this film drop. I am going to give away two items for anyone who likes this video, is subscribed, and um, also leaves a comment. So I'm gonna be picking a comment, comment just randomly. I'm gonna be scrolling through and picking a comment and reading it. And uh, I'm gonna give away this really cool Tricer tripod. Um, you're choosing, it's the BC, which is the one I use for backcountry stuff. You know, it doesn't get as tall as the AD, but very lightweight, very compact, very nice tripod, along with the pan head, which is extremely smooth. Use it for binos, for spotters, everything. As well as the Tricer tripod, I'm gonna be throwing in our new glassing pad. It's kind of an updated version. Um, we kind of split the pad here so that it fits really nicely on the back of all backpacks. Some of them were a little tight if you just put it to the back, fix it to the back of your pack. Now it's way more streamlined. Um, so kind of really, I really do like the design of this. It's gonna be much better. So you get the glassing pad, you get the Tricer tripod and the pan head. Pan head. All you gotta do is leave a comment, like and subscribe to the channel. And that's it.